Hey guys, Mama Girls here and welcome back to another video. Today we are trying out once more a brand new or at least a reformulated Sizzly product. I'm ready, baby. Obsessed with the brand of Sizzly Paris, it is no secret. Yesterday, actually, I had the very big honor to be invited by the Maison Sizzly in Munich. They have a whole Sizzly store. It's really just dedicated to the art of Sizzly products. If you're ever in Munich, Go check it out, honestly, it's fabulous. And they had a beauty expert there and he basically did a free facial massage and treatment. It was, I can't even describe it. I feel like a new person. I feel reborn, honestly, it's a rebirth. And obviously we were shopping at Sizzly because they have brand new lipsticks. I, I got this gifted, one of these beautiful bags is my second one. It feels so soft, it feels like a cloth. Oh my goodness, oh my god. So as I mentioned, these are reformulated. I'm gonna throw up a picture here. This is, uh, these, what was that? Oh my god, this is... Uh, Frog. I'm feeling French, okay. Uh, I mean, Sizzly is French, so whatever. <laughs> Love it! These were the old ones, the Fito Rouge Shine. My mother has one of these, but I never used it. I do know that she enjoyed it quite a lot. But we're gonna give them a try today. These are not available quite yet in the United States, so there is only a Euro pricing available. But I guess the end of February, these will launch in the States too, so no worries. There's also a brand new foundation coming. It will be reviewed on this channel also. But if you basically want to know how I enjoy these new Sizzly lipsticks, then stay tuned. You could give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, because we're heading for the millions. But if you subscribe, we are heading for them in real life too. Don't forget to ring a bell to get notified when I post new videos. Normally every Monday and Fridays, always uploaded at 6 p.m. Central European time, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Without further ado, let's just jump right into this video. So let's just get it started. I'm gonna have to translate it, unfortunately, into English. I have only the German website on my phone. Pardon me if you couldn't tell by my fake accent. I'm from Austria. <laughs> So, as we already mentioned, these are the Fito Rouge Shine lipsticks. They come in a variety of shades, 12 shades, and three color families. So, beige, rose, and orange. I bought three lipsticks to get all of the three color families. It is a product with the color pigment of a lipstick, the shine of a gloss, and the skincare properties of a lip balm. Sisley has traditional lipsticks, glosses and a lip balm, so this is basically a hybrid between all three of these. It is hydrating, it has a luminous finish, it is moisturizing, it is plumping, and it is ultra blurring and smoothing. It's a new generation of lipstick, basically. They have two different finishes, glossy and reflective, so with a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm gonna unbox these because I just want to show you. I mean, I already inserted a close-up, but yet still. These come in a beautiful packaging, and actually, oh my, oh no, I did not get that. Mm. Oh my god, they also come with one of these velvet wraps. I love them. I love them. They're so pretty. And the product, oh my god. Oh my goodness. It has the zebra optic that Sisley just loves, but with gold, gold zebra, gold animal print. Gold everything is my life. It feels beautiful. It feels not cheap and they're actually refillable by the way oh they smell fabulous so this is the shade number 10 sheer nude and i feel this is one with a little bit of glitter in the actual formula and the other ones i bought are 20 sheer paddle and 30 sheer coral i should talk about the pricing one of these retails for 43 50 which is obviously pricey and you get quite a standard size 3 gram which is 0.1 fluid ounce so actually not that much but let's take a look at the ingredients so there's a hydro boost complex this is i feel something that sisley trademarked this hydrates the skin and actually keeps them hydrated permanently there's some seaweed extract that gives additional moisture there's jojoba seed oil. We love, we stand. Actually, one of my favorite oils. Let's take a full look at the ingredients at here. We have as the main ingredients polybithene. I hope I pronounced it right. Never had that as a main ingredient in any lipstick before. With microcrystalline wax, which is a form of mineral oil. 
quite basic ingredient in lipstick. I am not a big fan of it, but I don't mind it, especially when it comes to lip products. It is basically something that, you know, creates a layer on your lips. If you have hydrating ingredients in a formulation such as this one, it doesn't matter, but if you just apply mineral oil onto your lips or face, it won't do much. Okay, we have Moringa seed oil. We stand. We have the Yojoba seed oil. Mwah. God bless you. We have sodium hyaluronate, which is basically that complex that they were talking about earlier on. Hyaluronic acid, we love, we stand iconic. Vanilline, which, you know, makes this lipstick smell this very traditional way. I personally really, really like it. It's quite low in the ingredient set, so it should not be a big deal with the fragrance. There's mica in it too, of course, some color pigments. Okay, I totally love that. I probably skipped over them, but I could not find a single fatty alcohol. Most of the times they are in lipsticks. So I just double checked the main ingredients, polypothene, and also the fourth ingredient are potentially particles of microplastic. I personally don't have issue with microplastic. I guess they had to use something like that in the formulation process because they really needed to be shiny and glossy. I would have preferred a fatty alcohol at the main ingredient spot. That's just me saying it here. I'm not mad at it. Is it my favorite lipstick formulation? I guess not. Darling, I, I don't know what to say. But let's just try the product. Yeah, it smells like these traditional lipsticks. I love that. I love it for me. By the way, I'm wearing Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury as a lip liner just to give a little bit of shape to my lips. 10 Sheer Nude. This is basically the universally flattering nude. I'm very, very excited. Ooh. It is actually very glittery. Very light, very hydrating, it smooths and blurs. Very, very pleasant, not sticky. I feel very pretty, okay. Sheer nude, that one goes straight into my purse. I mean it honestly, that looks so pretty. It really looks as if I would have applied lipstick and then a gloss and it feels like a balm. Seriously, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. So let's go to Color 20, Sheer Petal. This is basically a rosy nude color. Let's see how this applies on my bare lips. Ooh, that one's real pretty. Let's remove. So here's the direct comparison between Sheer Nude and Sheer Petal. Definitely Sheer Nude is my tea here. I do feel though as if Sheer Petal left a little bit of stain on my lips. And I have to say, they have pigment. Like, the rosy colored one, it really had pigment to it. And that's the last one, which is Sheer Coral. I'm gonna bet that this one will be the most pigmented. Yeah. And they apply so easy. Hot diggity dang. That is... That's hot. It's hot. These lipsticks are hot. This one is my definite summer color. Like, once summer rolls around in Austria, you will see me rock this one both off and on camera. I had my doubts when I read for the ingredient set. I will say that. I think they could have put the fancy ingredients a little bit more on top. That's me personally, but also I am not a chemist. It's a perfect hybrid between lipstick, gloss and balm. Feels like it performs like it beautifully. I love them so much. These are definite go-to lipsticks. Go check them out once they hit your location. You can order them online already as far as I'm concerned if you're in Europe. It's a traditional lipstick so it won't be the most long wearing but it does not feel as if they budge or if they smudge. It doesn't settle into fine lines so these are definitely also for people who might have you know fine lines on their lips. They're so easy to apply. Reapplication throughout the day won't be an issue and they just look fabulous. You guys do you think you can get into this new generation of lipstick? I most definitely can and I can't wait to buy more, not gonna lie. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe and ring a bell and do not forget to tune in for a brand new video. You guys, without further ado, I just, I should look more in the camera lens, I'm sorry. But I really feel myself with this lipstick. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And without further ado, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. We're gonna see us in a new video. Mwah.